Hi guys and um, welcome back to Movies That Matter with the Viking and let's talk about a little bit of news today or lack of news I'm a little bit sweaty, just trying to run it's really hot here but it's good, get out and do some exercise but yesterday an article run by, I, I forget the name of the, the website and then uh, a channel decided to do a, a stream about said headline that the Schneider Code will never be released or not will not be released anytime soon especially in the next two to five years that Zack Schneider's Justice League film isn't finished and that Warner Bros no intention working with Zack Schneider again especially with him encouraging the fan base to spread his word of the existence of his credit film and the article went in to say that they're not willing to pay the money that is needed to finish the Schneider Cut. They're not willing to give Zack Schneider back the reins of the DCEU and etc, etc, etc. And I watched a bit of the stream. Uh, yeah, unfortunately for me. I watched a bit of it just so I could gather opinions. I'm all for respecting one another's opi opinions and having a, a discussion, having a, a, a good conversation about pros and cons, a disagreement and things like that. But the complete ignorance in the article was ridiculous. It made out that Zack Schneider was the bad guy in all of this, that he's the one who, who did things wrong, he's the one who went behind Warner Brothers' backs and fucked them over, uh, which is, is not true whatsoever. It also had things to say that Zack Schneider was a bully, and that he, he's bullying Warner Brothers into giving him money to go and finish his cut of the film. The article said it had a source within Warner Brothers that told them this information, that they will not work with Zack Schneider again. Look, I don't know who the source is. I don't really care who the source is. I don't have a source. I don't care who these people talk to. All I'm willing to believe is the information that was confirmed and given to us as a fan base, okay? When the director comes out and says he has a cut of the film and the film is done, I believe the director of the film. When the director comes out and says that he would like to do additional scenes to add to his cut of the film, a few scenes that he did not get the chance to shoot, etc. The man of uh, the example, the Martian Manhunter scene, which he would have put in near the end of the film, things like that. He came out and he was he was honest in what he was saying. Jason Moore has seen the cut of the film. Ben Affleck thinks it should be available. Gal Gadot would like to see the film also. You have people like Jay Olivia, Larry Fon, Junk Junkie XL. People who have all worked with Zack or worked on the film have nothing but good things to say about Zack. They said the film should be released and then you go and call Zack Schneider a bully. No. You call the Schneider Cut movement an army or a cult. Okay, if that's what you want to call it. But a cult that has made money for charity, that has organized events to give back to people going through mental illnesses, through suicide, people who are hungry or are homeless, raising money for those people, is that a cult? Is that doing something bad for people? Yes, there's a strong community on Twitter and social media that organize events to make things trend, like hashtag release the Schneider Code, hashtag Borg Life, Zack Schneider's Justice League, things like that. <clears throat> And yes, like every fandom, there is a negative side to it. There is people who always want to put people down and who always have something negative to say. You have it in the Star Wars, you have it in politics, you have it in sport. But don't try and disregard the work that a movement has done. Like, what, what's that about? Zack Schneider left with terrible circumstances to go home to, to live with terrible things that happened in his life. And a fan base who feels passionate about him as a filmmaker, who feels passionate about him as uh, to see his Justice League film, call for the release of that film, but also do good things. I don't understand this agenda against the Schneider Cut community. You don't like Zack Schneider? Fine. You don't like us? Fine. But why do clickbait fucking articles? just to try and get people to come in and have a discussion and then those people are annoyed and angry that nobody came onto their stream to fight with them, to troll them. Man, I don't know, it just seems very sad to me. I'll respect your opinion as long as you respect my opinion. I'll listen to what you have to say and we'll have a, we'll have a discussion about it. 
but when you start calling people names when you start labeling people as, as a cult and then you are angry when that cult doesn't come on your channel to watch your video to fight with you about something that the director said is finished you know the lines are very very messy there but anyways I'll believe my sources and one of my sources is the director of Batman vs Superman, the director of Man of Steel, Watchmen, he's also the director of Justice League and he said he has a cut available so I'll wait and I'll watch his cut of the film when it's released and when I believe someone who played the characters who worked on set said it was a good film, a better film and it should be released then I'll listen to them. I won't listen to somebody who doesn't have a name who works inside Warner Brothers Man, that person you were talking to could be anybody inside Warner Brothers. It could be anybody. It could be someone at the bottom. It could be someone at the top. But in the end, just like Toby Emmerich, just like Jeff Johns, those people are found out and shafted away from everything. But I'll stay positive. I'll continue to fight. Not fight, but continue to share my opinion, to tweet the hashtags, to support events, to give money back to charity, and to suicide prevention. And with hope, in the end, all this something good comes, which will be the director's vision of Justice League. Have a good day guys, get out and enjoy the weather, work out, have a good day.